everyone it's your boy Odin from host Op promo in today's video we're gonna be going over the six best charting libraries that you can use for react JS and we're gonna be covering a wide variety of charting libraries and if you don't know what host Op promo is it's a website I'm working on where you can find the best web hosting companies in the world as well as the best promotions and the first library we're gonna be going over is recharts which uses react as well as d3 and you can build a wide variety of charts and this is by far one of the most popular charting libraries out there for react js okay and like i can show you they have tree maps uh, radar charts pie charts scatter charts compose charts as well as bar charts and a wide wide variety of charts so if you want a library that pretty much does every single type of chart then you may want to check out recharts. The next one we're gonna be going over with 6.7 thousand stars on GitHub is React Viz, okay? And this was created by the company Uber, and it's a very, very popular React charting library, okay? And it does a lot of cool things like updating live. For example, if we click the update button, you can see the chart will change live. So you can do some pretty cool things and if you're making charts that live and change data in real time, then this is a really cool library to use. And they also have a wide variety of charting that you can use, okay? And the next one we're gonna be going over is VX and this also uses React plus D3. And they have 6.6 thousand stars on GitHub. What I really like about VX compared to the other two last ones that I showed you is the design. I think the design with VX is the best out of all of them, but that's my own personal opinion. You can see they have line charts, bar charts, dot charts, area charts, pattern charts, glyphs, axis, gradients, bar groups, heat maps, radial lines. Um, you can even make maps of the earth, okay? So all sorts of different charts that you can make, and I love, love the design on VX, okay? The next one we're gonna be going over is Nevo, okay? And Nevo, of course, uses D3 as well, okay? It seems like all these awesome charting libraries are using D3 because D3 is an amazing library, okay? And Nevo also creates a wide variety of charts, um, and you can also connect it to APIs very, very easily. This is also a very popular library with 6.3 thousand stars on GitHub. The next one we're gonna be going over is React Stock Charts. If you need to make charts that cover stocks, then this is a great one for you. And this also uses D3, okay? And it looks like this, okay? So if you're used to stock charts, you've seen charts like this before where you can see the volume, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a very good library if you plan on creating stock charts, okay? The last one we're gonna be going over, and I love these type of libraries. These are very good if you wanna create very simple charts compared to the other libraries I showed you. It's called React Trend, okay? And it uses spark lines. It does not use D3, okay? Uh, we actually use something like this for host promo, but we use the Vue.js version. This is the React version. But you can see it's just very, very, very simple charts, okay? So if you want something very simple, this is a really cool one to use. And also their website has a really cool generator. So for example, you could change the color, uh, you could change how wide you want it, the radius of the lines, and then you can just click the code tab and boom, you have all the code ready to go and ready to use, okay? So these are my favorite six React libraries. I will leave all the links down below to access these libraries. If you have any questions or suggestions or you like another library, leave it down below in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to check out my website, host.promo, if you want to find the best web hosting offers, promotions, and free trials going on at any given time. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day, and I wish you the best of luck with the React.js charting libraries. Peace out.